Good morning. I just got back to LA last night at like 10 p.m. after the longest but yet shortest two weeks of non-stop travel. I have been in Boston, New York, LA, New Jersey um, for the past two weeks every week and I'm exhausted but I'm feeling good. I'm back and I haven't been back for this amount of time in like a period of time so this is good. It's like a little bit of an adjustment to wake up here again after waking up on the east coast but I came back to LA with some awesome stuff that's going on. So today I've got a meeting with um, with Revenge Body again. Then I also found out that Clearasol um, is sending me to New York on March 22nd for a panel that I'm hosting. So I'm excited about that. This is my force, my first, my force four way into into skincare um, and it's all for teens and about teens and now it's 8.14 and I have a call with them at 11. But first stop in LA, coffee and then I have therapy at 8.45, which I kind of hate having in the morning, um, but the time difference, she's in New Jersey actually, so it's kind of the only time I can do it. So, oh, and I forgot to mention the Rutgers thing. So that is, um, that is a really, this is a new, this year has been really good to me so far and I'm excited for that, but uh, that's exciting. So basically what happens is I'm gonna be probably traveling back and forth, woo, that's super sunny, every week from, um, or every other week from LA to New Jersey to meet with the team there. And basically, they're just gonna help me build my brand. And it's something that they choose a brand and they've never done anyone like this. So I think it's super exciting. And I was in the Rutgers campus like last week. So I'm, I get to go back and forth there now. And it's like a cute area. I loved this coffee shop. So I think it's gonna be very, very, very interesting. Today is the day. We are headed to interview Lo Anthony, Gabe, Gabe's obsessed with it. Oh shit, I'm gonna lose service. Hold on, fuck. No, I can't lose service. I got too far. Hold on. No, I gotta turn the Wi-Fi off. Please still work. Okay, let's go. What? Explain how excited you are about this. Gabe's speechless. Gabe's speechless. This is the interview with um. Gabe's 16 year old self is shaking. Gabe's 16 year old self is shaking. This is the interview we wanted that we landed by some low key Melrose stocking. Farmer's Market stocking and ended up getting in touch with Mr. Anthony's uh, mother. <laughs> Monica. Monica. Um, who follows me on conveniently put Instagram. Her on her Instagram. I know. If you're um, looking to get yourself killed, just put your number on your Instagram. Here we Why go. Why do I not mention that we drove? But I never stop. Cut my show, try hold me back. But you can't keep me from the top. Yeah, I work so I have no cheese. Have my hometown can't stand it. She did everything. Subscribers or make this much money because they see what has happened in the past and they kind of want to get there and for me it was like that was my story like I had all this stuff in my past and I you know I've had moments of success and moments of like all this up and down and at one point I was just like I kind of don't want anything right now I don't want a view I don't want I just kind of want to disappear and like create something inside of myself that no one knows about and just like build myself and do it off-camera, offline, and it was a beautiful time period because I felt so connected with myself, not only myself, but like the world, like the real world and the real people around me. And it happened here in Los Angeles, which is crazy to do. Like being in LA without social media is actually one of the healthiest things I could ever recommend mm -hmm. for anyone. Yeah, I can see that. Seriously, because like so much happens in a day here and like that is just like amplified times 10 if you're checking Instagram. You know what I mean? Like you can see someone just like, you know, live such a great life and you can compare yourself and easily fall down this hole. So what's your advice for staying happy? I would have to say that happiness, yes, it's a feeling, but it's also a mindset. So think happy and then you will feel happy. I think my advice for staying happy is to really kind of try and center yourself every day and find that one thing that you can do every day that reminds you that you deserve to lead the life you want to live and follow your dreams and just do 
whatever makes you feel still good. using it but the whole thing shattered but i have insurance but can i go back into the store or what do i i'll read the insurance paperwork tomorrow but what would you normally do if I shattered my phone screen, well, it costs $200 to repair, so you have to get it repaired. Oh, um, even though I have insurance, though. Yeah. Have insurance, but they don't cover that. They don't? No. So they just replace the screen, do they? Um, I think they only cover it if um, it's water damage. Oh my god, but I mean, do I get to keep the same phone and I can just pay for a new... Like, the confidence didn't transfer into my real life, which is kind of weird, like, like, dating and, like, friendship and stuff, like, it was so...